emergence of blockchain, a new mode of entrepreneurial financing has emerged called Initial Coin Offerings or ICOs. They allow early stage technology ventures to appeal to online investors with little more than an idea described in a document called White Paper. My research dives into the question of what is it in these documents that makes investors invest. So what are ICOs precisely? ICOs are a decentralized method of financing whereby an entity calls for funding by issuing digital tokens to online investors relying on a distributed ledger technology. ICOs are interesting because they build on digital information and communication technologies and offer a democratic, decentralized and disintermediated mode of entrepreneurial financing thereby improving access to finance and substantially reducing the barriers to entry for entrepreneurs. However, at the cost of reduced safeguards and regulatory protection. My study focuses on the central documents that ICOs are initiated with, the white papers. The key question that we are interested in is if investors find these documents informative and whether that depends on what types of information they entail. To examine these questions, the study entails two parts. First, we use a machine learning based unsupervised topic modeling known as sentence latent Dirichlet allocation or sentence LDA to map the information in these documents. In the second part of our analysis, we examine if these specific ICO white paper topics are relevant to ICO investors and whether these topics are associated with the project's post-ICO performance. After conducting our analysis, we find that white paper topics are indeed associated with the ICO's success, but have little relationship with the post-ICO performance. Secondly, and importantly, we find that mainly technical topics such as blockchain and mining are associated with better fundraising outcome. We also find that white paper topics are more relevant among projects based in countries with some ICO related regulatory directives and among projects with higher ratings from analysts. In this manner, our study contributes to this long-standing literature on the efficacy of voluntary disclosures. Do firms disclose relevant information without regulatory supervision? And in turn, do investors find such information credible? What we find is it is important to consider the specific information type when considering these questions. Our findings uh, tell us that investors mainly find topics that are hard to replicate, that require a degree of expertise such as the technology related topics in ICOs as credible. Moreover, our evidence highlight the role of regulations and third party analysts. These mechanisms help improve investors trust in such voluntary communications. ICOs are a novel mode of financing that was born out of the technological developments in recent times. Its success can contribute in entrepreneurial progress. However, it remains in a very early stage and it would require substantial understanding before we can successfully reap its benefits while mitigating the risks.